Hi, my name is Rodney Urand and I'm from OTS Training. In this video, I'm going to show you how to view and manage sponsors and members of different Active Directory groups using the Group Management Tool. Uh, so what is the Sponsored Group Management Tool? This tool allows individuals to view very basic information about groups in Active Directory. Groups can be used for email, such as a distribution list, or to provide security, such as who can access a file share. Faculty and staff who are sponsors of groups will use this tool to maintain their group's membership and sponsors. To start with, you have to log into the tool. Visit Towson.edu forward slash netid from your preferred browser and select Manage Sponsored Group Membership from the Faculty Staff NetID tool section. Log in with your NetID and password. The Sponsored Group Management page loads. Here you can modify sponsors or members for one or multiple groups. To modify a single group, select the group hyperlink. The group details page appears. On this page, you can email yourself a group summary report, add or remove people, or update notes on the group. The most typical task will be to add or remove a member or a sponsor. The process works the same in both instances. Locate the Sponsors or Members section and click Add Sponsor or Add Member. A window will appear when you can search by NetID, email, TUID or their last name. Now, you will need to pay attention to the selection. Some people have more than one entry in Active Directory, so make sure you select the right one. Once their name appears, place a check mark in the corresponding box and click the Add button. Click the hyperlink or the X to close out. Removing someone from a group is the same for both sponsor or member. Click the Remove Sponsor or Member button and select the person you wish to remove from the group. If you wish to add a member or a sponsor to multiple groups, you can do so by selecting the Modify Multiple Groups at Once button. And to locate that, you'll need to go to the main screen and then locate the button below the list of sponsored groups. When you click this button, a new column appears above. Select all of the groups you wish to bulk modify and then click the buttons below to add or remove sponsors or members as you would normally. In addition to membership management, there are a few other administrative tasks that you can perform as a sponsor. The first is sending a group summary report. If you need a copy of every sponsor and member in your group, click the Send Group Summary Report button and a report will be generated and emailed to an email address of your choosing. Be sure to close the dialog box when completed. And the other tool available to you is Notes. These come in handy when you want to detail activity within the group. From the Sponsored Group Details page, click the Update Notes button and add a description. A number of sponsors use the Notes section as a form of log which keeps track of when users were added and removed. Be sure to close the window when you are complete. Finally, the other tool available to select people is the Audit Note. This appears when you're a sponsor of a security group. One of the audit tools is to verify group membership on a regular basis. The Audit Note helps keep track of that. Click the Add Audit Note button for your selected sponsored group. When the Add Audit Note window appears, add your note. When finished, click the Add Audit Note button. The date and time will be automatically attached to the note. Close out the dialog box and you'll be returned to the sponsored group page. Thanks for watching. For more information, please visit towson.edu forward slash OTS training.